Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube segment, hey, I wasn't even sure what I'm going to entitle this yet, but it's going to be focusing on dealing with pain, and really, I'm, I'm not really talking, at least not much about physical pain, but emotional pain that one has to endure, dealing with some devastating things, and anyway, well, first thing I want to talk about is, is just trying to, just in general, just dealing with hurt, and I think what happens is a lot of people really don't understand or have really much conception of what it's like to really, to continually be hurt uh, on a day-to-day -day basis on a non-physical level, and I'll give you some, I'll steer you into the direction where I'm talking about, I guess, so to speak. Well, basically a lot of you know from my previous videos that I do, I do I mean, I don't have any one mouth. There's no significant other. You've heard that a number of times. Well, the thing about it is, having to deal with that, and to deal with that day to day, that's a continual hurt that one has to endure and one has to deal with. And what makes things tough about that is that it's so consistent. It's not something that, okay, well, this person called me a name. I'll just forget about it. Oh. See, it doesn't work like that because what it is is there's certain things that people have to deal with in life that are on a day-to-day -day consistent type basis. Now, I think uh, what I have to remember is, is that sometimes when if somebody has to deal with some kind of pain or they're, they're, they've been hurt to some degree, Sometimes I have to look at like, well, it's not always about me, why maybe something, something's happened, why something didn't happen. I mean, I've been on Facebook for a number of years, and I have, I mean, even from people on there, there's been all kinds of things that have happened that have been very negative. I mean, I have like... I don't know the exact count, but I gotta have close to a hundred people that are on my block list, to be honest with you. And there's even family members that I have blocked on there. And I think what it is, sometimes non-actions can really hurt, maybe even more than the actions. Non-actions are a result often of, of apathy and of people not really caring. I really don't know what hurts more. If you say, say you're on a, a social networking site and you email somebody, and would it be worse if they actually opened it and looked at it and didn't respond? Or if they didn't even look at it and didn't respond? I think the former would hurt a little more because it's basically like if somebody looks at something and they didn't answer it, it's almost like they said, you know, the hell with you. Now, if somebody doesn't respond and you don't, like say on Facebook when it tells you the status of whether uh, an email or message got opened or not, and say it reads, uh, it, it, it doesn't read seen. Well, that could be just a generic thing where, where maybe the person doesn't go on Facebook much or they just don't really go to their messages, and that wouldn't be as much to heart as maybe the former of what I was describing. So, see, what, what's funny, too, is that I had somebody uh, tell me that, that she loved me as a, as a friend, somebody I had wind up uh, deleting and blocking about a month ago and and I understand that I knew that she wasn't like infatuated in, in terms of the actual in love but what what's funny is I felt in my opinion that the person became was starting to become a little bit more distant and I think rather than have to endure any more hurt I just figured well Maybe it's best uh, the way it is. And the, and the situation was getting disputatious, and we were having certain uh, discrepancies and arguments on, on Facebook over different things. And I just kind of looked at it like, well, I just don't need any more pain. A lot of times I'll block or, and or delete somebody. It's not because a lot of times I'm not being vindictive or anything like that, or I'm trying to get at this person. It's just a lot of times it's too to stop whatever it was, the hurt that I was experiencing, 
whether it was from maybe derogatory remarks or it was just from non-responses and I guess I'll probably be deleting and blocking some more people on Facebook in the near future but I'm telling you that that Facebook has got me it hasn't been boring on there I'll tell you that that I guess the one consolation I get out of that site uh, it's just really for me I have to I have to take a good hard look at myself I have to remember that when, when somebody says they love you and, and really most of the time of course you know it, it's on a platonic level and that's understandable it takes a significant amount of time obviously to know somebody for somebody to truly uh, fall in love with you and that could that may even take years in a lot of instances and I have to remember that not to take things to heart too much when they're on a social networking site the thing about it is people uh, will I think what happens is over time like with me I'm gonna be I mean I'm almost 45 years old I'll be 45 in July and I have to really come to the realization that really I've been eligible to have that quote-unquote significant other since I was like 18 it's almost 27 years now I mean I'm doing the math and when I look at that I figure okay I've had maybe just a few real close uh, I guess you could say romantic uh, relationships in that period and doing the, the quote unquote the math I have to come to the realization that it's probably it could very well be a 50-50 probability that I may have to die alone and this is not to be overly uh, pessimistic or anything but it's just being realistic and see the hurt that, that that's endured like I stated before it's on a consistent day-to-day -day level because every day I have to get up and I have to face myself I have to understand well Eddie you know you suffered some irrevocable damage to your arms when you were younger you can't even drive now you can't physically operate a motor vehicle bureau you really don't have much monetarily to offer a woman and that uh, unfortunately that's been a hindrance and stumbling block for me sad but true and it's about coping with the reality day to day now people can say all they want oh there'll be somebody for you there's somebody people have to understand that we're not in the world we're in right now a lot of it unfortunately is connected with greed and avarice and superficiality it's not it's not a lot of times it's not about what's here it's about what you have in your wallet sad but true and when you don't have that and you're an older person you have some stumbling blocks being almost 45 there's really not much of a, a, a club scene for me and since I can't drive and don't make a substantial amount of income all those things are drawbacks now somebody sent me something on Facebook recently something uh, to the effect I never opened it but based on the link what it looked like the person was trying to convey to me was even though in spite of myself being alone that in in certain ways I really I wasn't or I could be happy just being with myself perhaps I don't I don't really buy that a hundred percent having and even having people in spirit or on the in the virtual sense on on the internet it's nowhere near the same thing as in is really having them physically in the true tangible sense so that to me is something where I understand the intentions were good and people might want to try to give me some solace or some consolation to maybe my predicament and what I'm going through but that doesn't change the reality of the situation people that is there are certain things where I don't know if it's uh, as far as dealing with the, the pain that I deal with it, it a lot of it is about acceptance there are certain things we have to accept in life old age I mean in 10 years I'm gonna I may be perceived as an old person to some people 55 years old in 10 years I can't change anything I had some opportunities when I was younger I think to 
maybe have draw the right person to me and through lack of assertiveness and aggression I didn't do it on uh, what what this I'm kind of gonna go off on a Gemini moon tangent here and let's say what was funny too is that I'm gonna go back excuse me to that person I told you about that that I had blocked and uh, deleted on Facebook was I think what happened was I don't know this a hundred percent but I think the person actually tried to send uh, send send a friend request from a friend she had on there in hoping that I would take the bait and accept the request from that person and then maybe that person could write to me through him which I didn't allow because based on where he was located and where he had gone I, I think to school previously there was a there was two there, there was a similarity between that and the person that I wound up blocking and deleted so people just keep in mind and if you wind up deleting and blocking somebody on Facebook and you get a friend re request that seems a little suspicious and it seems like it's somebody you'd never heard of even if like say you have a YouTube account and it doesn't seem like any friend you might have on there or a subscriber or it's somebody that you just don't really recognize from any social networking site or any where you may have met this person before in your life what you do is look at the try to see what you can pull up on his or her Facebook profile and see if you can find out the city state the person resides in and or where they're from originally because if you can do that and if it matches up with somebody that especially if you've recently blocked someone and it seems to kind of match up with that person then it's it very well could be that deleted slash blocked person sending that person to you in order to try to find some some weird uh, uh, de I don't want to say devious but like a surreptitious way of, of trying to somehow contact you now this person had my phone number she inexplicably never wanted to call me I don't understand this to this day why uh, I pleaded with her a number of times and she just chose not to do it but it is what it is and those are those are things too I think I have to learn that I'm not I don't have to beg anybody to do something for me if I ask them two or three times and they refuse by their non answers or what have you I just have to accept things the problem with me is that admittingly I probably am a little more sensitive than the average person but a lot of that's proportionate with what I've had to contend with in my life because I have had to deal with a lot of unnecessary stuff from people because I, I have essentially no family at this point in time and very few in, in my neighborhood I really don't have anybody here right now basically on a day-to-day -day basis I just go what I do is I do my Taurus rising routine so to speak I get up I get up in the morning I go on I, I have my breakfast which is really like a peanut butter sandwich every day I get my coffee I go on the computer I go check my messages on my YouTube astrology channel and I go to some other sites then I go out go to the store come home actually that's every other day because I double up at the grocery store so every other day I'll actually go to the grocery store and get out but on on 50 percent of the days I'm actually in the home really literally the whole day so I'm obviously not the most gregarious or extroverted person around and uh, that could be a drawback to me but it's something where it's something that I have I things in life I've just come to certain acceptance with and that's how basically I guess I've dealt with with a lot of the the pain that I've had to deal with and whatever inner turmoil but it but the thing is I can't lie and say that from time to time periodically that it that it doesn't hurt that it doesn't hit home not having someone being on social networking sites for years dating sites not not finding anybody people ignoring me giving me the brush off uh, because of lack of income because of superficial materialistic reasons that to me are beyond my comprehension the, the fact that we're in such a society now that it, it's just based seems like it's almost all based on 
what you have in your wallet and, and not what you have in your heart. It's preposterous to me, but it's like that song, that's just the way it is, baby. I think that applies, unfortunately, with me. And I think a lot of other men who have gone through this, too, they just don't might not talk about it as vocally, but I'm sure that, I'm sure I'm far from the only one that has to deal with this. Even when I was in high school, I was shunned and ostracized. I didn't get uh, much uh, as far as attention from women at that time, and I, I mean, I understand it in a way. I was very uh, introverted then, and maybe it was brought on myself to some degree. And I think what it is is now. I'm at an age where I can't really, there's really not much outlets for me anymore. It's, I'm not, most of the people in clubs are very young. I don't drink. I don't consume alcohol. That, to me, has uh, has been a drawback. Uh, and, well, not real. I mean, for health-wise, it's not a drawback. But, I mean, because I don't drink, I don't really get into that mix at that kind of scene. So, I guess that's what I'm saying. But at the same time, I am happy that I don't drink and that I do, I, I live a pretty, I live a good scrupulous upright existence and I guess I could take some consolation in that. And But I think the thing to remember is, is when, if you're on, talking about being hurt again, if you're going to go, say you're on Facebook and you write people, and they don't respond well. Look at the message in in that in the non-message people. Maybe you don't need that person as your friend. Maybe they don't care. Think about it. Maybe it's just time to delete them and start over and, and just wipe the slate clean and just concentrate on the people that you, that actually care about you and the people that will respond. Those are the ones that that will respond. I've sent. I started a thing on Facebook recently, it's a YouTube astrology page, and I sent a number of invites out, and I think maybe maybe half responded and half didn't, and I know that a number of those people are, are active, have been active on Facebook since the time that I invited them, and uh, they're just ignoring it for whatever reason, so you don't need that, and you don't need people that are going to friend you just because they want you to join an organization, well, an organization, a Facebook page. Now, it's something if they want to be your friend and they want to add you on a page, I understand that I'm flexible as far as that goes. But don't, and, and also, if, but if people are just on there just to ask you this and to need assistance with this, you really, you don't need those people that are on, uh, that are on there. So that can also eliminate more any potential hurt uh, in from from others so really I guess the one thing I have to remember is that despite I the fact I may have to go my life without anybody you know what I'll have my spirit and I'll, I'll do whatever I can I know I don't promise hardly anybody anything but I'll do whatever I can to make sure that doesn't get destroyed it's really uh it's sad. I think uh, a lot of times bad things can just happen to good people, and it's really a lot of this is just part of acceptance, I believe. And coming to terms with certain things, you do what you can to make the changes necessary to make your life better and, and to make yourself be in a happier state. But sometimes you have certain restrictions which are really, which can make things not necessarily impossible. But they can be very, it could be a very arduous task trying to, trying to get them, uh, trying to get through, I guess, those, those obstacles or obstructions or whatever you want to call them and really make, and, and make that happiness for you. Because it just, being on the internet, it's not the same thing as actually having uh, people in your life. And I might, I might just have to, to grin and bear it the rest of the way sad but true and uh, I guess I can thank God for some of my true Facebook friends and the people I communicate with over the internet because that's about all I essentially have right now and maybe that's all it's uh, it's going to be and I guess it's just about coming to terms with that well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube segment and until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well